And then The Hobbit was just like, oh fuck, uh, let's make a movie without a script, I guess. Ooh. Ooh. Looking back at it now, it was such a wasted opportunity because they really could have done something on par with this. I think that's why, I don't know if you've ever seen any of those fan edits of those movies. There's a genuinely fucking great movie buried under like six a hours of, of fluff. Yeah, the Hobbit movies are incredibly sparse in terms of real it's, content yeah, it's, yeah you, you feel, feel the good. stretching it's the of overload of cartoonish action scenes that are super heavy on cgi it's very just... tonally inconsistent mm -hmm. the fact that yeah. they were originally planning on doing only two movies and then the studio was like how about three yeah it yeah. just kind of tells you everything about how fucked the well, studio they based, based on they a book that's got like good 200 a... pages to work with oh, thank you any more visitors, well wishes, or distant relations? And what about very old friends? I mean, you could make three movies out of it, but because you have a whole bunch of characters to work with, but the character work in the Hobbit trilogy is really kind of bad. It's thin as fuck. Um, Dear God, no. good to see you. One hundred and eleven years old. Who would believe it? Well, I mean, I challenge you to to really tell me anything about the dwarves. I, I think there are. I think only like four of the dwarves actually matter. Yeah, the rest are just like interchangeable with one another. There's Thorin, there's the old guy, there's the one with Balin, the hat, there's right? the bald guy, and then there's those two brothers who really only matter because Feely and Keely. Yeah, yeah That's because the, uh, the elf there's... bitch is fucking them. Oh! oh! That was the big takeaway I had when I first saw the yeah. first one was that I can't remember much of the anything about the differences between the dwarves. While in Lord of the Rings, the Fellowship is so well characterized and sort of the individuals grouped together. Even though there's a lot of hobbits in there, you'd think, oh, maybe we'll have some trouble with that. It's like, no, Merry and Pippin, Sam and Frodo, they are very distinct. It just reminds me of the Hobbit where like Christopher Lee is clearly oh, yeah. fading Aww. out and he just looks so plasticky and fake. Wait. Wait, you didn't like the massive action sequence where Galadriel, Elrond, Elrond yeah. and Saruman are in the, the big epic action sequence fighting off all of the ghosty ring wraiths? No, that well, I loved. I honestly was waiting for him to go, it's wizard in time. And then he wizards all over I the bad guys. Like yeah. that scene. I like that scene. I have special <laughs> personal reasons for liking it. He was able to cameo in the Hobbit. Uh, films as well, wasn't he? That was the last on-screen performance from him. It's part of the tragedy, he... uh, is that that those films, they had all of the material to be great, but they didn't, uh, didn't quite make it there. Packed already. No harm in being prepared. I thought you wanted to see the old Sam. I do. More than anything. I did. Yeah, the script was and just it was, really bad. And it was really the last time that the actors were still young enough or alive enough to play these roles. Remember when they made him a cunt in the Hobbit movies? He was weird in the Hobbit movies, Legolas. yeah. Legolas mm -hmm. is weird. He was in a love in triangle. triangle. What the yeah. fuck is... Why would you make a love triangle? With a yeah, dwarf. Like, <laughs> with... <laughs> what a terrible decision. Yeah, terrible, that... terrible decision. Compare this to the Hobbit where there's like insane... You know, they're falling down huge chasms and there's like bits yeah. of uh, wood and everything all around them and it's just all held together. Yeah, there is a little bridge thing that gets smaller and smaller. It's just so shit. Like, there's no weight to any of that. The best right, payoffs will be set up. In the second Hobbit movie, they do something similar where uh, Thorin saves Legolas and they don't even, like, have Legolas know about it or acknowledge it. And it's like, well, why the fuck did we do that? Yeah. It doesn't yeah, feel artificial. artificial. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And it works so well. You're right. <laughs> One of the big problems I had with the Hobbit movies is that, like, they would do shots kind of like that, but they were too smooth and it felt fake. <laughs> that crane shot and a lot of these other shots feel more visceral and handheld. Like, these aren't, like, super graphic movies, but they don't feel sanitized like The Hobbit does. Yeah. Actually, the, the big highlight, the crazy highlight of the Hobbit films, I remember, like, being the Gollum Hobbit scenes are fucking amazing. That was good. Blesses and splashes, precious. That's a meaty mouthful. Baggins's. What is a Baggins's, precious? Just, just you and me. It's just, just, just us. Like yeah, really yeah, good. The and then, with, yeah, yeah, Bilbo and Gollum. It's I legitimately really liked... a really good scene. It's got an elfish blade, but it's not an elf's. In the dark, shut up. I didn't say anything. I wasn't talking to you. Did you give up? Give us a chance, precious. Give us a chance. Bilbo and uh, Smaug as well. I really like that scene too. Come. Don't be 
shy. Step into the light. The stupendous. Do you think flattery will keep you alive? No, no. Did you think I did not know this day would come, God? Would come crawling back to the mountain? The thing that's really the the really only bad thing about the scene between Bilbo and Gollum is that, if you recall, it is intercut with the fucking Goblin Town yes, bullshit yes. that the dwarves yeah. are doing. <laughs> It's cut in between. Yeah, and what a Bill shame. And the Goblin King guy, voiced by Ian McShane, is like, You thought you could escape me. What are you going to do now, wizard? But he's like a clown. It's like, why, why wouldn't you? He is why, like a uh... clown. Yeah. No, no! That'll do it. Ian McShane is precious. You should use him well. I wish none of this had happened. So do all who live to see such times. But that is not for them to decide. All we have to decide is what to do with the time that is given to us. I love how at the end of that scene, it actually uses the Shire theme when he's thinking of killing Gollum and then chooses not to. It's just like, oh, that's a weird I, little uh, moment where you hit me in the feels when these yeah. bad movies. I'm almost wanting to like watch it again now off the top of my head because I remember the, um, the vibes from... Martin Freeman are perfect because it keeps balancing from like this murderous goblin person's gonna eat me or actually focusing on the riddles. <laughs> like, let me think. Let me think. The realm of the dwarf city of Dwarfdale. Those movies are so weird for me because I happily I happily watch them and enjoy them, even though I. Think they're bad films. They are. They are. Same here. Yeah. Same here. Do you know they I, have I good know. scenes in them. Yeah, the, there's like there's yeah. like a quality to it that doesn't feel entirely cynical, like so many other shitty movies, because you can it tell just feels that like was... they did a bad job. What happened is like they got fucked by the studio. Well, they yeah. tried, and then like people behind the scenes were like, "No, we're not going to allow you to make a good movie." Which is weird because I'd be like, "Jackson, you could do whatever the fuck you want." <laughs> well, he Jackson was brought in at the eleventh hour, wasn't he? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. A different director. It wasn't working out. He left. Like Jackson comes in, and it's like, "Okay, I can make a good movie, but I need a bit more time to do this." No, uh, we've yeah. got a release date. You have to do it. Oh. No. Guillermo de like, Toro was fired from that project. Which he is another like yeah. I could I could buy his Hobbit films being that's great very as well. Warner Brothers thing to do. Yeah. Here lies Balin, son of Hundin, Lord of Moria. Warner Brothers is knee jerk and stupid, and that had a lot to do with it. Yeah, which and as Rag said, and I totally agree. If it were me, I feel like you'd be pushing whatever we gave him for Lord of the Rings. Give him that again and more. Yes, here is a check. Write ever number you need at the end of the pro. We will pay it. Just do it again. It's as I feared. <laughs> Just do it again. Use your magical mm -hmm. powers. And make it about the Hobbit. I was gonna yeah, say, by the way, force him to make a third movie that he didn't want to make well, in the first place. Yeah, if and he wants high, to, that high frame rate. Oh, uh, high where would you? Um, thing, yeah. 